Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to The Ultimate Comparison. And as you can see today, the Bode Stone 1800 is going to go head to head with the Bode Stone 1500. And obviously this is something that you guys have been really craving for because most of you are confused. Some of you already have the Bode Stone 1500 and want to upgrade. But you want a verdict. You want someone to tell you whether it's worth it or not. So I'm hopefully going to clear those doubts in this video. First, I'm going to give you my verdict on what I heard in person, what the differences and similarities were in terms of the sound quality, which was better, which was worse. And at the end of the episode, you're going to get my signature sound test. So you guys get an idea. And with my verdict together, you can come to a useful decision and you can use your money wisely. So without wasting any further time, let me just say that these have a lot of features that are similar and a few things that are definitely uh, different. So I'm not gonna waste your time by going over all of those. Rather, the chart you're seeing right now, that basically summarizes what these differences and similarities are. So if you want, you can pause the video now and have a good look at this. All right, so with that out of the way, now let's get into the main criteria, which is the audio quality. So first, let's get the elephant in the room addressed, which is that this is claimed to be a 90 watt speaker. So even if you check out all the promo material for the Bode Stone 1800, its signature thing that they are trying to uh, really convey to the masses is that it's a 90 watt RMS speaker versus the Bode Stone 1500, which is a 40 watt RMS speaker. Now this is where things get a bit shady from both's end because while on both's website, all the promo material shows 90 watt clearly mentioned. If you go into the specifications section and you can see a screenshot on the screen right now, it says it's a 60 watt speaker. And not just that, if you download their e-manual from Bode's official website, and if you read that, if you go into the specs, it's going to say that the Bode Stone 1800 is a 60 watt RMS speaker. So that is really shady and it's unfair to the masses if it's actually a 60 watt speaker being advertised for some strange reason as a 90 watt speaker. So that's kind of weird. Although the manual which I got with the Bode Stone 1800 clearly mentions 90 watts even in fine print. So really confusing there. Now here's where things get even more strange. When I did my testing, when I heard a number of songs and music using these two speakers, the same tracks, mind you, this being a 90 watt speaker should have been more than double the loudness of the Bode Stone 1500, which is a 40 watt speaker. But that wasn't the case because this sounded marginally, just marginally louder than the Bode Stone 1500. So I am quite sure that this is not a 90 watt speaker, maybe 60 watts at best. It is a tad bit louder but not double the loudness by any means. Okay, so you guys know how I judge my speakers. I judge them based on how they produce the three main frequencies that broadly make up any sound that you hear. The highs, the mids, and the lows. The highs or the treble where the really sharp sounding instruments are, the mids or the vocals, and the low end or the bass. Starting off with the treble or the higher frequencies, while both do a good job, it's only when I compared these two side by side and really paid attention that I found that it's the Bolt Stone 1500 whose highs are sharper. And they are not sharp to the extent that they have sibilance, they're not harsh, but they just have more clarity. Now, this could come down to your personal preference. You might enjoy a little mellowed down highs that the Bode Stone 1800 gives you. So if you want the crispness that I speak about, and if you want that extra bit of sharpness, you should go for the Bode Stone 1500 as far as the highs are concerned. Either way, both do a good job. Now it'll just come down to your personal preference. Next, we get into the vocals or the mid frequencies. Now here, I personally felt that the clear winner is the Bode Stone 1500 and not the Bode Stone 1800. Because if you've seen my review of the Bode Stone 1800, I mentioned that I found that they tried to artificially push the vocals forward, which ended up making them sound hollow. And that's not good because it takes away the natural warmth and tonality from the vocals. Now, I'm not saying the Bode Stone 1500 is perfect, just that it sounds a bit more natural while having a bit more clarity. Now, again, like I said, if it's your preference to enjoy a bit more boosted vocals where they sound more upfront compared to the other frequencies, you might enjoy the Bode Stone 1800. But for someone who just wants more clarity without any hollowness in the vocals, 
you could go for the Bose Stone 1500. And finally, we come to the low end or the bass response. Now, both of these do a great job, a tremendous job when it comes to the bass response. Overall, that extra bit of rumble and that extra bit of depth in the bass, that was given by the Bose Stone 1800. And the good thing or bad thing is that thanks to its better, more robust bass response, the overall music or song that you listen to sounds just a tad bit more enjoyable and deep and packs a bit more depth compared to the Bose Tone 1500, which in itself is amazing. It's great because it's been the king of bass when it comes to Bose Bluetooth speaker range. It's been undisputed. I'm not saying there's a huge difference in bass response. Both are punchy, both are thumpy, and they do resonate the surface that you keep it on. But if you really listen close enough, you'll find that the Bose Tone 1800 has that extra depth. The bass response sounded a bit more hefty, and that helped the overall sound signature sound a bit more, I would say, deep and enjoyable compared to the Bose Tone 1500. All right, guys, now let's just summarize. Both are amazing speakers in their own right. If you already have a Bose Tone 1500, you shouldn't be sad, it's amazing. If you've already placed an order for the 1800, you shouldn't be sad, it's amazing. If you are planning to upgrade, let me tell you very honestly, the Bose Tone 1800 is not a huge upgrade from the Bose Tone 1500. So it's not incredibly louder than the Bose Tone 1500. Like I said, I don't think it's a 90 watt speaker. I think it's 60 watts at best. So it's not gonna be a huge upgrade. In terms of sound quality, yes, there are subtle differences here and there, like I mentioned. So if those subtle differences, like I mentioned, align with your preferences, you should choose accordingly. You shouldn't have to just buy the 1800 because it's the latest. Having said that, the advantage of getting the latest speaker is that it packs the latest Bluetooth version. It's got the latest, uh, latest feature like the broadcast function where you can pair not just two 1800s together, you can pair 100 if not more versus just another Bose Tone 1500. And no, you cannot pair the Bose Tone 1800 with the Bose Tone uh, 1500. So they just are not compatible. So it sucks, but it is what it is. Anyway, I've spoken enough. Now you're going to get my signature sound test. So two tracks, the identical tracks playing at max volume on these two speakers. I'll intercut between the two. They are unedited audio uh, straight from a professional microphone. So listen to it, form your judgment and let me know in the comments below what you guys think. If you do have any other questions, please let me know in the comment section. I'll try my best to answer them. And as always, the links to these speakers will be in the description below. If you uh, would be so kind as to use those links to make your purchase, whichever speaker you decide to buy, use those links because that will directly help my channel and I can produce more such helpful and high quality content just for you guys. Thank you so much for stopping by. Smash the like button if you haven't already. Subscribe, share this video with someone who needs to see this. Enjoy the sound test and I'll catch you guys very soon in the next one. Cheers.
Thank you.